Burgess's 1976 work, Moses, a narrative, contains many gems. One of them is the character of the chief magician. The plagues of Egypt have started. The frogs are swarming over the land. All the water has turned to blood. The air is full of gnats and buzzing flies. It is black with gnats. And the Egyptians are terrified. But the chief magician attempts to calm the ministers with these words. Maintain, my lords, a scientific approach. Approach by way of reality, by observation, analysis, never by way of theory. You ask, is it blood? If blood, whose blood? I reply, that is not to the purpose. The substance, true, behaved like blood, smelt, tasted like it. Whose blood? That is no question for the physical investigator. Think now. There are records of mud pollution of the Nile, followed inevitably by an immediate exodus of creatures that live and breed in clear water. Swarms of frogs and gnats, inevitable. We may also expect flies, locusts, a murrain on the cattle, all stemming from the pollution, by whatever cause, of the river. You ask, is the blood, or whatever it is, a product of thaumaturgical conjuration? I say and reply, the term has never been adequately defined. Miracle, magic, what do the words, scientifically considered, really mean? But my lords, we have to remember that this perverse and defecting Moses is, by upbringing, education, an Egyptian. He has had, doubtless, access to obscure law, which in this age of stability and power has never had to be invoked against enemies. To talk, as some are doing, of the magical potency of a new god, a god, moreover, of an enslaved people, is, to say the least, premature. Again, you ask, how is it that the Israelites remain immune from these uh, nuisances. The reason, my lords, may well be geographical. Goshen, remember, is some way from the Nile, sheltered, removed from the causative pollution. How dark it is getting. 